The story goes a shadow warrior would slip into a pond, stay hidden for hours, breathing easy through his blow tube. When his unsuspecting target finally turned up, the ninja's poison dart would quickly carry out its carnage. All right, this is pretty complicated, so let's break it down into its elements. All right, well, first of all, we need to see how long somebody can stay underwater, because if you're underneath the water for a long period of time, there's a possibility you could get hypothermia. And we need to see if we can build an accurate blowgun using only the materials that an ancient ninja would have. And we need to find out if you can aim underwater, because you need to correct for a fraction. All right, well, then the hard part is gonna be breathing through the blowgun, loading the dart while you're underneath the water, and then making that lethal shot. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Well, if it was easy being a ninja, anybody could do it. So first up, Tori's gonna put his life on the line. Stop right there, that's good. Today, we're gonna test exposure to cold water. And to do that, Tori has kindly volunteered to jump into our tank of 66 degree temperature water. That's about the average temperature of a lake in Japan during fall. But they're not throwing Tori completely in at the deep end. Here you go, buddy. Ew, it smells too. He will have some protection. Well, apparently ninjas used to rub animal fat all over their bodies and then put a leather suit on before they got into cold water to act as like a wetsuit. Great, not only am I uncomfortable, I look like a complete idiot. Not a complete idiot. For that, you need one more thing. This is the ninja hood. This do part I really goes... have to wear this? Well, this yeah, is... I mean, really. Yes, you do, Tori. You lose up to 50% of your body heat through your head. And in your battle with the elements, you'll need all the help you can get. All right, we're going to write on this board how you feel. One is you're OK, you're good to go, all the way up to 10, which is I think I've got hypothermia. Get me out of here now. Sounds easy enough. All right, three, two, one. Just stay underwater until you're almost dead. Quite honestly, under that cold water, I don't think Tori's going to last very long. I feel like, you know, 10, 15 minutes, and he's just going to be cold and have to get out. In water this cold, he could die in as little as two hours. And just 10 minutes in, Tori's already struggling. Let's ask him what number he's at. Five. He's colder. In case Tori hits real trouble, paramedics are on standby. They know what to look for. Symptoms of hypothermia would include uh, starting to shiver, uh, lethargy, being confused, <laughs> lack of coordination. <laughs> Other than the shivering, that's how he is normally. So it's going to be a little tough for us to tell. It's even harder to pick when he's underwater, which he's now been for 45 chilly minutes. Seven. OK, he's pretty cold. He's pretty uncomfortable. In water this cold, Tori's losing body heat 32 times faster than he would normally. His breathing's really getting ragged. And the shaking's getting worse. Oh, he's coming up. He's coming up. OK. OK. Oh, that's it. All right. OK, quick, let's get your temperature. OK, first thing. Carrie and Grant need to check if he's critical. All the water out of your mouth? To see whether he can recover on his own or to call in the cavalry. You can get out now. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now, that's given that Tori's yeah. just you know, a regular guy of average health, that is a very good performance. It was harder than I thought it was going to be. <sighs> the longer I was in there, the harder it was to breathe. But the $64,000 question is, could he aim and fire a blowgun? As a trained ninja, you could probably shoot somebody with a dart right now. You lasted an hour. I didn't think it would be that long. Considering you don't have any cold water training, that looks pretty good for this myth. Yeah, so we just did the exposure test. Now on to the fun part. That wasn't the fun part. No, now we're gonna do the blowgun test. Yes! yes. <laughs>